Patricia Pachi an amazing class for young men and women to learn how to make a rotisserie chicken, separating the meat from the skin of the chicken. It's gonna be perfect, delicious. You're gonna love it. Let's go. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Today with Chef Pachi, we're gonna make our chicken hoisin. It is actually a chicken made with plums and a plum sauce that I make, which is completely natural, tastes somewhat like hoisin sauce, but it's different. So here we have our plums, rice vinegar, coconut aminos, honey, Chinese five spice, ginger, and that's it. We place them all in a blender, blend, and we have our amazing Sharpachi hoisin sauce or plum sauce. Now we're gonna create the seasoning for this chicken. The yogurt, Chef Pachi's hoisin sauce, some gar marsala, and some salt and pepper. We mix this and we have the perfect seasoning for our chicken. Now let's start with the most important part of this recipe after making the hoisin sauce and that is separating the skin from the chicken. Why? Because we want to place our seasoning inside of the chicken, inside of the skin, between the meat of the chicken and the skin. That way, all of the chicken is going to absorb the flavors, it is going to taste delicious, and it's going to be something amazing. Go ahead, try this with your favorite seasonings and make your chicken like this and you'll see the difference it makes. It's absolutely delicious because everything is full of flavor. Now we go through the back of the chicken too, through the legs and all of the chicken because everything is going to be seasoned. It's going to absorb all of those flavors. It's not gonna take like sauce, and plain chicken with salt and pepper. No, we're gonna add some of that seasoning everywhere, even inside the chicken's cavities and on the skin, the chicken wings and all. You see there's a little tear in the front of the chicken. Don't worry, it'll glue itself up if we put a toothpick on it and that's it. You see here goes all of that delicious, dressing and seasoning sauce that Chef Pachi has made with these plums. It is sweet and spicy and you are going to love it. Do this patiently, do this for one, two or three chickens at a time and that way it'll be just one day and then three days of glory and if it's two of you it's like six days of amazing meals. You can freeze your chickens like that and then as they freeze they will absorb the seasoning as well as as they defrost. Make sure you defrost them well under a tightly closed bag in water or overnight in your refrigerator. Massage all this beautiful chicken with the sauce and we're gonna add seasoning everywhere. Remember the cavity, the top, the skin, the bottom, everywhere. All of this seasoning mix is gonna be on that chicken. And once it's ready, we are gonna store it six to eight hours or overnight so that it absorbs all these amazing flavors. You can freeze it and then as it freezes, it'll absorb the flavors as well as when it defrosts. We're going to add seasoning everywhere. Check it out. This is finger licking chicken. We're going to place it now in a bag. That was great. For you, by you. Now we're going to bake our chicken. And we're going to do it with some amazing Guinness. It's going to help us season and flavor our chicken with the fumes of this beautiful Guinness and also it's going to keep our chicken standing up. At the end, we're going to mix some of that Guinness, half of it, 
the drippings in the pan and some of the hoisin sauce. So you are gonna love it. Check it out. Some salt and pepper at the end always because when we put our chickens to season away or refrigerate in a bag, some of the flavor sticks to the bag. So what we're doing is just adding a little bit of salt and pepper back to it. We're gonna bake our chickens at 325 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes. This is a really high convection four-way oven. So it might take you an hour and a half. It comes out beautifully. Look at the tenderness of this chicken piece falls apart. It's out of this world. And my students are amazed at how beautiful it is. Now we're going to add half of the can of Guinness, the pan drippings, and all of this on top of your chicken. It is a sweet, spicy, and delicious recipe that you should keep at home anytime. It lasts for months refrigerated. Delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy, Chef Pachi.